All right, so we had a word with Barry and asked him to do another poster for us. Same context, same content in terms of science. Um, and here we are. And I think he probably has done uh, quite a good job of it. Let's have a look. Um, so it's still a bit hard to, to find the hypothesis in here. It's yeah. definitely not as um, clear and upfront as, as it might be. Um, or, or the the question, the, mm. the real sort of crux of the of the study. Um, I can see it buried here in the methods and experimental setup. So yeah, that's not really the place where I would normally look for it. No. Uh, but we need to keep in mind that we are not necessarily only expecting posters or research work presented here that is entirely hypothesis driven. So. Yeah. If the purpose of the work is obvious, we don't need an explicit hypothesis. And I think the purpose of this work is obvious pretty much yes. throughout. Yeah, it's well explained in the background section. But yeah. still, it's not, it, it could be more upfront. Um, yeah, it could. So, in terms of scoring, I feel we are sort of in the middle realm here, adequate. What do you think? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think a three is fair for that. Yeah, fair, a three is fair. If it was straight up at the top, like this is what we've done and why, then that would be much higher. Yeah. Um, the background section is really good, though, at explaining the novelty of the work and the way really? that, that, that the study builds on previous work. Yeah, can't, I can't fault that in any way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And one should point out the references are actually also there at the bottom of the poster. So everything um, is quite clear and the figure that goes with it is also quite illuminative. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, I agree. So I don't see how we can score it down if we would ever do something like this. So let's give it five points. Sure. Yeah. Um, so the technical aspects. So obviously the, the methods that we used are exactly the same as we used um, and described in the previous poster, but the way that they're described here is so much easier to understand. Yeah, I, I instantly knew what was going on, why it was important. If I'd wanted more detail, I could have found the paper, but yeah. Yeah, I think that's that's a good point. Um, some. You know, if, if you're an expert in that field, you might ask for more detail, but it's not necessary for this sort of format for this paper, so you can always find it. However, one, one thing that kind of threw me off a little bit is that figure in the methods, and it's not immediately clear how, how it links. Yeah, I mean, I like that the, it's the same picture of the plant as we had, but to me, I sort of infer that that's the experimental plant, whereas in the previous poster, I didn't even really consider what it was a picture of. It was just in the way. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but I would still, um, so I wouldn't give it full marks. No. Uh, because there is still a little bit of mismatch there between the use of the figures in here. Um, yeah, but, but it's it's definitely uh, very good generally. So I would say four. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So then if we look at the conclusions, um, so here we've got a section called implications and conclusions. And I think this um, does a good job. It, yeah. it, uh, it represents the the data that's that's shown um, matches up with the conclusions that are that are written there. Yeah, um, if, if 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 I was in a hurry um, and I have like ten minutes before the next session starts and I want to look at as many posters as possible and I quickly glance at the conclusions, this gives me all I need to know. I think. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I th I think it's spot on. Yeah. So that's a five then. Yep. Yeah. Okay. But but aren't they are they hang on, they're the same conclusions as in the previous poster, aren't they? Word for word, yep. So well, I, think, oh. I think the difference is the way mm. that they relate to the rest of the poster. 
so I, I think I think the fact that you've got the background here um, makes it much easier. Make means that the conclusions, as they're written, make much more sense. They so have it, more meaning as well. Yeah. Yeah. And, so, and so I, remember that in the previous post, uh, coming back to to what I said earlier, if I have ten minutes and I run around and look at, I mean, this doesn't give me a headache reading it. No. Right? That I don't this, think this is actually um, yeah easily accessible and yes. you can quickly get it in and, and understand it. So I, I think the key point is that even though the text is the same, the yeah. context for the conclusions is different in this poster yeah. compared yeah. to the previous one, and that's why we've given it a higher score. Yeah. 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 Um, so the next section is the context. Uh, so in here, we're looking to see were the concepts well explained um, is the language used <coughs> concise and understandable. And I think I think to answer the first part, I think the concepts are really clearly explained. Yeah. Yeah, concepts are clear, <clears throat> but there are a few bumps in the road with the language. Yeah. So if you if you look, for example, at the last sentence here in the background, um, if you read that through, you 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 kind of wonder why it says complications, the long term complications. I mean, that seems to be autocorrect uh, yeah. and it should say compilations. Um, so be careful. Autocorrect can trip you if yeah, read your poster before you print it out. Essentially. Yeah, try um, and get someone else to read it as well. I yeah. think because it's easy to gloss over it when it's when it's yeah. your read it out loud. Read it out That's loud. Really yeah. yeah. Um, and there are more of these. Um, for example, in the section two, um, first the second sentence up the first line, this is our ultimately. I mean, clearly something went wrong there. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And in the results section, first line, results show a wide that water availability. So there's also some probably word missing. So yeah, there, there are a few um, bumps in the road here that detract from uh, full marks. But one yeah. should point out none of these um, errors, either in spelling or grammar or wrong word, really um, obstruct the meaning. So uh, it's still a clearly communicated poster. Yeah. Yeah. And it makes it look less professional. Yeah, so I'd say that makes it good, but not outstanding. Definitely. Yes. So four. Yeah. 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 Then. So then if you look at the figures, um, <laughs> so there are more figures in this one than the previous poster, I think. Yeah. Um, but quantity isn't necessarily quality. No. Um. Yeah, but I think generally, I mean, in the previous posters, the figures were one of the better bits, and I think we scored it as a three. Yeah. Um, and it's not that the figures are dramatically different, they're differently presented, they're not just copy pasted from a PDF. Um, they there was some effort to make them look appealing. They're definitely better presented and more appealing to look at than in the previous poster. Yeah, um, it's got a uniform presentation. Yeah, it's a the results section. They're mm. numbered and they're referred to in the text. Yes, but some of the captions are a little on the small side. Uh, true, yes. Yeah. Um, so again, that's probably good, but not outstanding. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Pull oh. me over. Cool. Okay. But I think the next one, which is flow and the narrative from beginning to end, um, that's that's really really clear. Um, it's it's not just numbered in sections in one, two, three, four, and so forth, but also visually guided to so the clear boxes. Um, uh, it's absolutely obvious what to do and how to go through it. Um, yeah. So yes, very linear, but obvious. Yeah, easy. I would give that a five. Yeah, 
I don't think yeah. we can. Yeah, we can't give it anything other. It's just so, so clear. Yeah, there's no and, way to get confused about the, the way to yeah. read it. Yeah. And there aren't sections missing. It's very logical and everything we need sure. is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's a five. Yeah. So then the, the final point is the, the graphic design or the aesthetic appeal of it. Um, it's definitely better than the than the previous one. Um, I still don't think it's outstanding, though. Yeah, it's definitely better. But I don't think that's deserving of an outstanding or possibly even a good in terms of the graphic design. Yeah, yeah. I, find, I find the balance between text and figures could be better. So the figures could be larger. Yeah. yeah. Um, and in places there is a lot of black background that could have been used more efficiently. Definitely. And again, you've got the sort of just different sizes in in font. Yeah. Yeah, in section four. I, I think you could have used the space better there. Yeah, definitely. It doesn't feel as balanced as it could do. And um, for consistency, like CO2 I saw is not consistently um using subscript so here in the in the, in the um conclusions yes but further up there were a few co2s yeah. that are not subscripted um it's just that lack of detail there in the background it's section well, <coughs> it's hard to say what is an outstanding poster in terms of graphic design but you sometimes I think, just know, which is not helpful. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. But if, if you see one where you think, well, um, this one doesn't make me say, well. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Ca I can't imagine in in a poster hall, but catching my eye and going, I must look at that. Yeah. And, and that's what you'd really need to score a five in this section. I think if this one um, had some small changes made to it so the overall structure but the changes that we talked about in terms of the balance between the text and the figures i think it could be a four. Oh yeah if 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 those changes have been made but yeah. i think at the minute for me it's a three yeah i completely i don't think it gets higher than that yep yeah. yep a three so yeah. that's the last one of our scoring categories. What do we get to? I think it's a 33 out of 40. Yeah, yeah that's what I get. Yeah, that's a pretty good score. Yeah. That would be a poster that's potentially in contention for a prize. Depending on the competition, much yeah. as possible, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it would in some years it would scrape just in, in other years it would just miss out, I think. So yeah. I, Barry did quite well here. 